This is Project Optimize, a tool for the Unreal Engine designed to help you keep your project solid by helping you find potential bugs and optimization opportunities. So the tool looks through stuff instead of you having to go through all your assets to find these problems. As a quick summary, there are 19 different types of optimization searches we can do across eight different asset types. So static meshes, skeletal meshes, materials, textures, sounds, miscellaneous, foliage and blueprints. And then we have 10 different types of bugs that we can search for across seven different asset types. On top of that, we can also check your assets for specific naming conventions to keep consistency in your project. I'll give you a quick example of it working. So I'm going to search the entire project for optimizations for static meshes that have no LUDs. If I give it a sec, then we see a list is generated at the bottom. In this project here, there are 59 static meshes that have no LUDs. And we can scroll down through this list to see. We can easily access these by double clicking here and then you can get to the asset. Let's look at another example. So we're gonna do entire project optimizations and this time we're gonna look for materials that are using two-sided. Two-sided materials being more costly. There are two in the current project, a bush and a heat distortion. Both those seem pretty reasonable. So I would leave those if it was me looking at this. Uh, in terms of bugs, a couple of bug examples that we could look into. Let's look at materials, missing physical materials. As you can see, there are 85 materials in this project that do not have a physical material applied. Makes sense because this is the third person template project, so they don't have physical materials. Uh, and we'll do one more. So I'll just quickly look at MISC and project redirectors. Now you can see, easily found a project redirector. We could use this little button to find it in the content browser, and then we could easily fix it up, making our project more solid. So an important thing about this tool is it doesn't edit anything in your project. It will only load assets to look into them to generate these lists at the bottom. It's then up to you to decide what to do. I thought this was super important because projects are very contextual. What's right for one project might not be right for another. For example, a static mesh with no collision in one project might be intentional, but in another, it's a bug. Or an animation with zero references doesn't necessarily mean it should be deleted. Maybe it means it hasn't been hooked up yet. So the reason this tool exists is because no matter how good you are at making games, it's easy for smaller issues to creep into your project without you even realizing it. While these problems can be small, enough of them can reduce the quality of your game from a player's perspective, as much as a bigger bug could. Think of death by a thousand cuts, or bugs in this case. And in much the same way, it's easy for these little opportunities for optimization to be missed, building up to have a bigger impact on your frame rate. All that to say, this is why this tool exists. I use it myself to keep my projects more solid, and if you choose to use it, I hope it helps you.